Hey guys, welcome back. Twinkly Frog here again, and today we're going to be building ourselves an overworld gold farm. Um, these are great because you won't have to be in the nether worrying about gas and all the other pigmen and stuff like that going crazy because we're going to be killing zombie pigmen. And if you've ever hit one of those in the nether, you know it's not really a good thing. They seem to get mad and try to kill you. So the first thing you're going to want to do is build a platform. You see the one behind me. I normally don't pre-build for my builds, but... You know, just building a platform that's 12 by 12 too high is boring. So this platform, like I said, is 12 by 12. Let me switch real quick. Whoops. It is 12 by 12. This block right here is 24 off the ground. You want to make sure your base is 24 blocks up. Okay. So you're going to go 12 by 12 with it too deep. Now I suggest if you're building, you want to go ahead and put your water down because if you fall, it won't hurt you. One in each corner. You should have a square in the middle. Perfect. Okay, now what we're going to do is start laying our obsidian out. We're going to go like so. And go just all the way across. Sometimes it's a little laggy in the block placing. There we go. Okay. We can do that all the way around here like this. And of course, in order to conserve, we're only going to put them where we need them. Because obsidian is a pain of butt to get a hold of. There we go. Now, of course, we're going to build our portals. I just do this usually. Like so. Oh, that's not right. <laughs> and that is your standard portal right there. I'm sticking with the standard portals because I want my friends on Xbox and PS3 to be able to build this as well. Of course, if you are on uh, PC, you can build this portal the entire length of this thing. That is your call. But this is going to be your, your basic one right here. Now, I'm not going to fast forward, guys, because I want you to get a feel for how long this actually takes. The first part, the little platform you see down there, takes about, oh, without flying mode... Oh, probably about 10 minutes to build if you're careful. If you're not careful, you can probably shave it down some. Your call. I like to be careful. Not really a big fan of dying a lot when I'm playing. Oh, my hand is cramping tonight. Sorry, it's taking me so long. I'm uh, pretty quick at placing box. Okay. We're almost done. Like I said, I'm not going to fast forward because I think you guys need to get a feel for how long this really takes okay that's your first ring now if you want you can keep building just repeat this on top of each other all the way up as high as you prefer <laughs> pretty much as high as you want to go now what you're going to do is we're going to build our inner ring here you're going to go ahead and come in one like so and not sure why that didn't break what is going on block lag is bad i am playing in a snapshot that's why a block lag is kind of bad right now um that's what happens when you play in the snapshots you have a tendency to find things like that out now it, it's a little different here oops than this corner and this is exactly how it needs to look guys you need to look at this it is one two that one missing this one however is flush you want to keep that one there on that one you know what? and just for uh, a little less lag guys a little less noise I'm taking out these water blocks we'll put them back in when we're ready to finish there we go that's better why is it still making noise? Shut up. Okay, so then you're going to come out. Oh, gosh, this place. Here, you're going to come out one again. Now, this one is going to be flush again. Basically, you build the corners opposite of each other the same. You'll see what I'm talking about when I'm done. Okay, let me get these out of here. It'll be easier to see. So that's the pattern you want on your inside with your obsidian. It can be reversed. You can have the solid block here and here and the missing block here and here. 
that doesn't matter but this is the pattern you're going to want to go with on the inside now once again we're going to go up one two three and four and then one two three four one two three four dun, 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 and I'd also like to go ahead and thank everyone who is showing up to view this video, um, especially those who are my subscribers and watch the videos all the time. Uh, you guys are awesome. I have broke 2,100 views, which is freaking amazing. When I started messing around doing this, you know, I was originally making videos and me and my buddy were playing together. We weren't really making videos. We were just playing a lot. And he was like, hey, you know, you should start making videos. I said, why would I want to do that? He goes, you're constantly teaching me how to do stuff, so why not teach other people, too? They'll like it. I said, I don't know. But he encouraged me, and I went ahead and did it. So there you go. We got our second layer built. Okay. Now we're going to come in like so. And this one is just going to be a square, one away from everyone else. Boom, boom, boom. Come on. Now, if you want to save obsidian, guys, you can place that one, that one, that one, and that one. You can knock these blocks here out. You don't need them. You could use dirt or something. So like that. Make the poor man's uh, one. You can do the same thing up here as well. You don't have to have those. Um, that will actually save you quite a bit of obsidian in the end. Um, so that's just something you may want to think about if you don't have something like an obsidian generator built which actually I am going to be building one probably in the next couple days in order to complement this and you will see it down here in the uh, description alright so now what you're gonna have to do here is put some sort of a shell over top your uh, your farm I'm just gonna go ahead and use the building blocks that I'm already using like so do a shell for a couple reasons it keeps the pigment from getting out it keeps other stuff from getting in and plus it'll just look better oh man I am having a heck of a time placing blocks today sorry about that guys also for those of you who are interested in my let's play vanilla be on the lookout we're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff we're going to be doing some enchanting we're going to be doing some building of stuff i have built as tutorials so that's going to be cool i need to know what you guys want to see though throw a comment down say hey i'd like to see this you know build this build me a this build me a that whatever it don't matter to me i will figure out how to build it i can't say i'll build it that day but i will try all right now you're gonna like I said you're gonna want to do this all the way around oh my god try to place your blocks a little bit better it'll save you a whole whole bunch of time than me so okay now the zombie pigment as you saw we're gonna wash into here so you're gonna want to punch this out one two one two okay now these guys are going to fall straight down in here and they're going to get killed if you're not careful so what we're going to do is we're going to actually reset their fall so you may have seen this in other farms how to reset falls whoops and boom boom that's the best way to do it It'll look better that way throw a button down here 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 ah you can't do them there i don't know what i'm thinking today Come on, there we go. And boom. Now what's going to happen is, come here, back up, back up, back up, back up. The pigmen are going to come along and they're going to actually step off and they're going to hit those right there. And they are going to reset their fall, which is really cool. Now something you may want to do here, because this is a heck of a distance on these inside one, you're going to put trap doors in order to trick them into thinking that's a block so they will actually step off. If not, they probably will not step off this way. They'll only step off backwards. But this gives them double the space to step off of, which is good. 
So now, go ahead and throw our water back. Whoops. Dang it. Yeah. Yeah. One water bucket in each Kona. And there you go. It washes everything to the center. Like a so. Now I'm going to go ahead and... <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and light these. Come on, fly, you fool. I'm going to go ahead and light these things right here. Because I want to give the pigman a chance to start spawning on us. And one thing you want to be real careful for is you don't enter the end. Or the uh, the nether. So it's real simple. Wow. Be back. Yeah, like I was saying, be careful you don't enter the end. Get up. Or the nether. Get up there. Jeez Louise. So most of the time when I like this on a farm that I built, I do it from this side. Just to make it easier. I don't have any chance of flying in. Okay, and of course, guys, you know this is going to get super, super loud. Oh, man. This is going to get really, really loud really, really quick. Okay, and through here. Eh, 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 eh. Uh, uh, three and four. Uh, since I'm in a tutorial world, most likely, yep, I'm in peaceful. Now, just like anything else, uh, so what you're actually going to want to do is build a drop tube all the way down to the ground. Like so. Uh, there and there. There and there. There and there. Okay. Now there are a hundred different ways you can set these up. You can actually set this up like I set my original gravity grinder up on the floor here with the redstone where you can switch it to kill mode or XP mode. I will link that build in the description. So if you want to integrate that into this build, feel free. I'm not going to do it. There's no point in me building the same thing, you know, three or four times. All right. Now, sometimes the pigmen are a pain in the butt. They don't want to spawn. Did we put it? I don't see any mobs. Ah, okay, good. So, yeah, we put it on the right settings. Now, the reason you want to build this tube is because, if not, sometimes they have a tendency to drift. And if that happens, they die. I hear a zombie. <laughs> You're going to want to make the top of this thing unspawnable as well. If not, you'll start getting crap spawning on the top of the obsidian. Like so. This will seriously throw off your rates. Get off my building. Get off my building. Fall to your death. <laughs> Fall to your death. There we go. Okay. Oh, I think I heard a zombie fall. Big man. No. Good guy. Let's do this real quick. Options. Peaceful. Options. Normal. There we go. Now this will work, guys. Sometimes it takes a little while for this thing to fire up. It's kind of weird how it works. But, you know. I promise you it does work. You can look at other mob traps. You'll see that they are very similar to this one. And there you go. We have completed the mob trap. No pet.
pigman yet. We'll keep flying up top like so. See if we can get a couple. If not, we'll throw a couple eggs in so you can just see how it works real quick. Um, I suggest if you want this to be more successful, you keep going up. Go up as high as you want. Just keep repeating this pattern further and further and further up. And trust me, the more portals you have, the higher your spawn rate is going to be. So let's do this. Bam, bam. All right, there we go. Now they're going to keep getting pushed. There they go. Boom, boom. They are now trapped. Now sometimes there'll be one hit, sometimes there'll be two hits. There are two hits. No biggie. The great thing about it is you can always just step in the corners like this to grab the loop. See? There you go. Alright guys, let me fly out of here. These guys are way too loud. Get off my house! <laughs> oh, I gotta kill a creeper. Everyone, whenever you see a creeper, kill it. They're evil. Okay. So, guys, there you go. As usual, please leave a like. Leave your comments with what you'd like to see next. Subscribe. Share us with your friends. And as always, God bless.